Good afternoon. This is All India Radio and I am Valsa Williams with the Midday News. The headlines. Election Commission issues notification for fourth phase of Lok Sabha polls. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says NDA government at the center transformed Odisha with central schemes despite Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik's non-cooperation. Congress releases party manifesto for Lok Sabha elections. Supreme Court refuses urgent hearing in Congress leader Hardik Patel's plea seeking stay on his conviction in 2015 Vispur rioting case. India and Chile signed three MOUs for cooperation in the fields of mining, culture and empowerment of persons with disabilities. And in IPL cricket, Rajasthan Royals to take on Royal Challengers Bangalore in Jaipur this evening. The Election Commission has issued notification for the fourth phase of Lok Sabha polls. 71 constituencies spread over nine states will go to polls in this phase on the 29th of this month. Last date for filing of nominations is the 9th of April. Scrutiny will be held the next day and last date for withdrawal of nominations is the 12th of April. In Rajasthan, filing of nomination for the fourth phase of general elections began today. 13 seats of the state will go to polls in this phase on the 29th of April. A report. Nomination process for 13 Lok Sabha seats of the state started today. These include Stok Sabai Madhupur, Ajmer, Pali, Jodhpur, Badmer, Jalor, Udaipur, Chittorgarh, Rajsamand, Bhilwara, Kota and Jhalawad Bara constituencies. Out of these, BJP has yet not declared its candidate for Badmer and Rajsamand seats, while Congress has announced its candidate for all 25 seats of the state. With commencement of nomination process, it is expected that election campaign is to get momentum in the Meanwhile, campaigning has gained momentum for the first phase of Lok Sabha polls. Top leaders of various political parties are holding multiple rallies in different parts of the country. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said the NDA government at the centre ensured welfare of Oriyas and launched development projects in the state. Mr. Modi criticized the Naveen Patnaik-led Odisha government for not cooperating with the center to bring about speedy development in the state. The Prime Minister was addressing an election rally at Bhawani Patna in West Odisha. Calling upon people to vote for the double-engine government of the BJP at the center and the state, Mr. Modi said Odisha should repeat the history created by Uttar Pradesh in 2017 and Tripura in 2018. Listing his government's achievements, he said the NDA government has constructed pakka homes for 8 lakh families, provided power connections to 24 lakh homes and gas connections to 40 lakh mothers and sisters. Mr. Modi said, बीते पांच वर्षों में ओडिशा के करीब आठ लाख गरीब परिवारों को घर मिल चुके हैं ओडिशा में 24 लाख घरों को मुफ्त बिजली कनेक्शन मिल चुका है ओडिशा की 40 लाख गरीब बहनों को उज्ज्वला योजना के तहत मुफ्त गैस कनेक्शन मिला ये मोदी ने नहीं ये मोदी तो सिर्फ सेवक है ये सारे काम आपके एक वोट के कारण हुए हैं Mr Modi said under the Congress rule middlemen benefited largely and people had to migrate to other states leaving their families the prime minister will kick off the campaign in Bihar this afternoon he will address election meetings at Jammui and Gaya more from our correspondent This will be the first election rally of the NDA in Bihar in which the Prime Minister will address election meetings. Prime Minister will address election rally at Jamui and later in Gaya. LJP President Ram Vilas Paswan and JDU Chief Nitish Kumar will also be present during the election meeting. LJP leader Chirag Paswan is seeking re-election from Jamui parliamentary seat. He is in direct contest with state RLSP Chief Bhudeo Chaudhary. In Gaya, Hindustani Awam Morcha Chief Jeetan Ram Maji is fighting election battle against Vijay Kumar of JDU. Polling in Jamui and Gaya will be held along with Aurangabad and Nawada seats during the first phase of elections on 11th of April with KK Lal's report from Gaya, Anuja Kumar, AIR News. BJP President Amit Shah will address a rally in Karaikudi in Tamil Nadu. 
In Mizoram, electioneering is gaining momentum as only a few days are left for campaigning to end for the lone Lok Sabha seat, which will go to polls on the 11th of this month. In a multi-cornered election, leaders of all major parties like the Congress, BJP, Mizo National Front and Zoram People's Movement are now engaged in campaigning for their candidates. In Assam, Kaliabor Parliamentary Constituency will go to polls in the first phase on the 11th of April. Our correspondent has filed this report. The Kaliabor seat is considered as the home turf for the former Chief Minister and Congress strongman Turun Gogoi and his family. He represented the seat several times before becoming the Chief Minister of Assam. After Gogoi, his brother Deep Gogoi and now his son Gaurav Gogoi is representing the seat. This time Gaurav Gogoi is facing Assam Gana Parishad candidate Moni Madhav Mahanta. In 1996, Moni's elder brother Kashav Mahanta, the present working president of Assam Gana Parishad, defeated Turun Gogoi. BJP the National President Amit Shah has already held rally at Kaliabar for AGP, while Congress President Rahul Gandhi will also campaign for Gaurav. Apart from Gaurav and Mani, there are another five candidates vying for this seat. Over 17 lakh voters can exercise their voting rights at Kaliabar on 11th of this month. Manas Patim Sarma, AR News, Guwahati. The Congress today released its manifesto for the Lok Sabha elections in which the party has promised to ensure minimum income guarantee to the poor and provide jobs. Addressing a gathering after releasing the manifesto in New Delhi, Congress President Rahul Gandhi said under the minimum guarantee scheme named as Nyay Yojana, the party has promised to give 72,000 rupees annually to 5 crore poor families constituting 20% of the total population in their bank accounts with monthly instalment of 6,000 rupees. He said, Manifesto mein paanch bade idea hai. Sabse pehla theme, Nyay ka theme. Aur dousra kaam, रोजगार और किसान हमने निर्णय लिया है अगर किसान कर्जा ना दे पाए तो वो क्रिमिनल ऑफेंस ना हो वो सिविल ऑफेंस हो शिक्षा और स्वास्थ्य नेशनल और इंटरनल सिक्योरिटी है उस पे हमारा जबरदस्त फोकस होगा on the issues of employment he said the party has promised to fill up 22 lakh vacant posts by march 2020 and provide employment to 10 lakh youths in gram panchayats on the issue of the BJP's criticism of M.G. Narega, Mr. Rahul Gandhi said if the party is voted to power, it will raise the man days from the existing 100 days to 150 days. He also said for three years, youth of India will not require any permission for starting their business. This is All India Radio giving you the news. For quick news updates, follow us on Twitter at AIR News Alerts. <laughs> News Services Division of All India Radio is broadcasting a special live program, Janadesh 2019, on the developments related to the general elections 2019. Tune in to the FM Gold channel of AIR from 4 or 5 p.m. to 4.30 p.m. every day till the announcement of results to listen to this special program. <laughs> The Supreme Court today refused to accord urgent hearing to Congress leader Hardik Patel's plea challenging the Gujarat High Court order rejecting stay on his conviction in the 2015 Vispur rioting case. The matter was mentioned for urgent listing before a bench headed by Justice Arun Mishra. The bench, also comprising Justices M. M. Shantana Gaudar and Naveen Sinha, told the counsel for Patel that there is no urgency in hearing the matter as the High Court order was passed in August last year. Patel had started preparations to contest from Jamnagar on a Congress ticket after joining the party on March the 12th and the last date for filing of nominations is April the 4th. BSP Supremo Mayawati today defended in the Supreme Court the construction of life-size statues of herself in Uttar Pradesh, saying they represent the will of the people. The former Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister in an affidavit filed in the Apex Court said the memorials and statues of herself and other leaders are intended to promote values of various social reformers and leaders among the public and not intended to promote the symbol of the BSP or to glorify her. She said funds for construction of the memorial and installation of statues were sanctioned through budgetary allocations after approval of the budget by the state legislature. In Jammu and Kashmir, Pakistani troops violated ceasefire yet again in Noshera sector of Rajori district today, 
According to the defence spokesperson, Pakistani troops started unprovoked and indiscriminate firing around 11.30 a.m., shelling Indian forward posts with artillery, mortars and small arms fire. Alert Indian troops retaliated and the firing was going on when reports last came in. Senior BJP leader and Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has hit out at National Conference leader Omar Abdullah's alleged remarks on revival of Wazir Azam and Sadr Riyasat post in Jammu and Kashmir. Mr. Jaitley said Mr. Abdullah's remarks only intended to create a separatist psyche. In a Facebook post titled Ek Desh Me Do Vidhan Do Pradhan, Mr. Jaitley said the new India will never allow any government to commit such blunders. He also said the two mainstream parties in Kashmir are increasingly losing their identity. Mr. Jaitley said the separatists and terrorists want a part of the state to segregate from India and the country will never accept this. The Income Tax Department has attached a house of Kashmiri separatist Syed Ali Shah Gilani in connection with a tax evasion case of over 3 crore 62,000 rupees. A tax recovery officer of the department sealed the house located in South Delhi as Gilani allegedly failed to pay income tax for assessment years from 1996-97 to 2001 and 2. Last month, ED had imposed a penalty of over 14 lakh rupees on Gilani for illegal possession of $10,000 in violation of the foreign exchange law. Today is World Autism Awareness Day. The day is observed every year to raise public awareness about autism. This year, the theme of the day is Assistive Technologies Active Participation. Our correspondent has filed this report. Autism is a brain disorder that typically affects a person's ability to communicate with others. It generally begins in childhood and lasts through adulthood. Autism Day highlights the need to help and improve the quality of life of those with autism so that they can lead full and meaningful lives as an integral part of the society. This year's observance underscores the importance of affordable assistive technologies to support people with autism to live independent lives and indeed to exercise their basic human rights. With Anand Kumar, Unpermished AR News, Delhi. India and Chile have signed three MOUs for cooperation in the fields of mining, culture and empowerment of persons with disabilities. The agreements, which were signed during President Ramnath Kovin's visit to Chile, will further enhance engagement in economic, social and cultural fields between the two countries. Chile is the sixth largest trading partner of India in the Latin American region. India and Chile have also agreed to work together to strengthen global response to defeat and destroy terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. Mr. Kovin said this after brief talks with his Chilean counterpart. He said both countries committed themselves to further strengthen economic partnership. At the stock markets, the Sensex of the Bombay Stock Exchange rose 175 points to trade at 39,046 a short while ago. The Nifty at the National Stock Exchange added 40 points to 11,709. At the Forex market, the rupee appreciated 4 paise to 69 rupees 11 paise against the dollar in intraday deals. Supply of ultra-clean Euro 6-grade petrol and diesel has begun in cities adjoining the national capital. In April 2018, Delhi became the first city in the country to leapfrog from Euro 4-grade Euro petrol and diesel to Euro 6 fuels. Cities in the 12 contiguous districts of Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh, as well as the city of Agra, switched over to the cleaner fuel from yesterday. In IPL cricket, Rajasthan Royals will take on Royal Challengers Bangalore in Jaipur today. Last night, Kings XI Punjab defeated Delhi Capitals by 14 runs at Mohali, chasing the target of 167 runs. Delhi Capitals were all out with four balls to spare. And now, before we close, the headlines once again. Election Commission issues notification for fourth phase of Lok Sabha polls. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says... NDA government at the centre transformed Odisha with central schemes despite Chief Minister Naveen Patnaik's non-cooperation. Congress releases party manifesto for Lok Sabha elections. Supreme Court refuses urgent hearing in Congress leader Hardik Patel's plea seeking stay on his conviction in 2015 race for rioting case. India and Chile signed three MOUs for cooperation in the fields of mining, culture and empowerment of persons with disabilities. And in IPL cricket, Rajasthan Royals to take on Royal Challengers Bangalore in Jaipur this evening. With that, we end the midday news.